This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Carbonite. John writes in, where are the $300 Windows RT tablets? Right now, everything that's out costs too much. I have a Nexus 7, and sometimes that thing can be a pain, like when trying to do DIY network, home and garden TV, and lots of others, and they don't want to build an Android app. But on 7-inch screens, their websites don't look right. How hard is it to build a version for a tablet? You don't even have to make it specifically for one tablet or another. Yeah, you can have your regular site, and then a tablet version. This way, it'll work on all tablets. You won't have to build any app. Just do it in HTML5 says John. It's crazy. Uh, you can pick up a great Android tablet for 200 bucks. The iPad mini is $330. Not cheap, but it's not bad. Uh, right. Windows RT tablets, most of them are Six hundred dollars ish, six hundred dollars ish. Yep. The cheapest RT tablet we found so far was three hundred and ninety-eight dollars, and that was on sale from five ninety-eight. Yeah, yeah. So, Look, like. I would not bet the farm on anybody building a tablet-only version of their websites because tablets and phones have the same basic problem: smaller screens and having to work in both portrait mode and landscape mode. Mobile design on websites is not trivial. Imagine trying to serve dozens of resolutions that aren't standard computer resolutions on a dog pile of operating system versions that might be years mm -hmm. out of date. And oh yeah, it's, it's got to work with a considerably smaller screen and in a lot of strange configurations. So it works horizontally, it works vertically, or landscape and portrait. Yeah. Um, and it gets better because yeah. there's a good chance that it probably has a much harsher cap on data consumption. In some parts of the world, 150 megabytes a month is an entry-level data plan. Facebook, we discovered not too long ago, can suck down seven megabytes in a single Jeez. page refresh. Bink! Seven megabytes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, And your data cap just gets chewed through. Yeah. Now, it gets really crazy because if you are like, I am a big website, imagine knowing that 2013 is the year that mobile internet browsing will start to eclipse regular old desktops and laptops in terms of like overall consumption. Mashable has a great article talking about responsive web design. Mashable.com recently moved to a responsive web design, which is basically what happens is you go to Mashable, Mashable finds out, does a query of what your device is, and then customizes that web page so it displays correctly on your device. This is not trivial, right? Because they have to they have to design, they have to architect a website that is flexible and can move in different ways and goes, oh, it's a tablet, it's, it's a touch screen, mm -hmm. we'll enable columns that you can swipe. Or, oh no, it's a standard, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a lot of manpower. It's a lot, yeah, and it's a lot of it's kind of on the back end. Because mm -hmm. right now, more often than not, you know, there's a lot of web publishing systems right now. They drive me insane because I go to www.whatever.com and it dumps the website and I get this mobile optimized page that gets rid of the graphics and maybe the, creates a series of super abbreviated entries, uh, drop down menus, and I can't actually get to the one thing I need or if I do it, I have to go through like seven drop down menus. It's, it's kind of funny. That said, that weird stripped down semi useless look, it's 1995 design avoids the problem with a website designed for 1024 by 768 working in a portrait uh, environment on a device that may or may not use flash um, you know and there are a lot of them still out there so look the reason lots of websites aren't building Android or iOS apps is it takes time and it takes money and then you have to get the users to download them and many sites they aren't quite aware of how many folks are browsing on mobile devices. I think it's going to change in a big way over the course of the next year or two. Yeah, well, it's nice when we when hope. when big companies, you know, they have it built into their CMS to automatically, yeah. as you said, reformat the website for the the content delivery right. um, device or but, the delivery yeah. content delivery receiver, the device. Um, like WordPress, they have plugins that'll do it automatically right. when someone lands on your page and. It's a, it's a big deal because you have to craft all of your elements now have to work in this new super flexible environment and mm -hmm. it's like it's it's crazy making. We're, we're actually finishing the redesign of, of uh, revision3.com right oh, now. Fabulous. Which hopefully will launch uh, later on in March or early April and it's it's a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, got the baby pictures, got the baby pictures. Oh man! <laughs> baby picture on that laptop. I should be freaking out right now. I'm not. Everything on it, backed up, safe and secure on Carbonite.com automatically. Accidents happen. You don't have to lose all your data. Back up now on Carbonite.com. Use the offer code TECHZILLA and make sure your data is safe before something bad happens to your laptop.